Hi friends and family, welcome to another day in Binden with me, Katie. Today my family is going to El Zao, Quy Nhân. We are driving through Thị Nai Lagoon. The area surrounding Thị Nai Lagoon has a long history of human settlement dating back to ancient times. The Chamba Kingdom, an ancient civilization that thrived in the region from the 2nd to the 17th century, left its mark on the area. The remnants of Chamba temples and structures can still be found in the vicinity, showcasing the historical and cultural significance of the region. During the Vietnam War, Huy Nhan and Thị Nại Lagoon became a significant military and logistical centers. The beach strategic location made it a vital landing site for supplies and equipment. After the war, Thị Nại Lagoon underwent significant development and transformation. Thị Nại Lagoon, with its pristine sandy shores, clear waters, and breathtaking natural beauty, became one of the key attractions in the area. The Thi Nai Bridge, located in Huy Nhan, Vietnam, is a significant landmark in the region and holds the distinction of being the longest sea bridge in Vietnam. The Thi Nai Bridge spans a total length of approximately 2.5 kilometers, 1.55 miles. Its construction began in 2002 and was completed in 2006, providing a vital transportation link for both locals and tourists. The bridge consists of multiple spans and piers that support the structure, allowing it to withstand the forces of nature, including strong winds and tides. El Zha, also known as Quy Nhân's Windy Pass, is a scenic coastal attraction located in Quy Nhân, Vietnam. It is renowned for its natural beauty, mesmerizing landscapes, and refreshing ocean breezes. El Zha is a must-visit destination for travelers seeking tranquility and a connection with nature. Situated around 20 km northeast of Quy Nhân City, El Zha is nestled between towering cliffs in the turquoise waters of the East Sea. The name El Zha translates to Windy Pass or Windy Strait, which apply despite the characteristic guts of wind that flow through the area. These winds, combined with the breathtaking scenery, create a unique and captivating experience for visitors. The main attraction of Elsa is the picturesque landscape, characterized by rugged cliffs, jagged rocks, and small sandy coves. The cliffs form a natural corridor, providing visitors with stunning views of the surrounding sea and coastal scenery. The area is adorned with lush vegetation, further enhancing its natural beauty. Elza offers a peaceful and serene environment away from the hustle and the bustle of the city. To fully appreciate Elza, Visitors can explore the walking paths that wind along the cliffs, offering panoramic views of the coastline and the vast expanse of the sea. Overall, El Zha in Quy Nhân, Vietnam is a captivating coastal destination that showcases the natural beauty and cultural heritage of the region. During this time, El Zha experiences increased rainfall and higher humidity levels, showers and thunderstorms are common and there might be occasional typhoons affecting the region. It's fun to drink sweet cane juice and watch tropical rain. It feels great because only in Vietnam can I experience that. But then has changed a lot since my last visit. Many great buildings were built to welcome everyone. Now we are heading to Phuket Airport to fly back to Saigon. My rain parents gave me some great looking gourds from their garden. It's such a memorable trip. Mua cơm cháy mẹ. À à à, cái này là bạn đi chuyển qua tài khoản của bạn ấy. 
hàng sử dụng 4 tháng đặc sản phú yên này ăn thử Chỉ này bao nhiêu một cái nhỉ? 32 Ăn thử Where's crunchy rice or burnt rice? It's a thin crust of slightly brown rice at the bottom of the cooking pot. It is produced during the cooking of the rice over direct heat from a flame. In Vietnamese cuisine, is it called gom jay? It is typically fried in oil until golden brown. In the late 19th century, Dinh Hoàng Thắng left Ninh Bình province to work in a Chinese restaurant in Hanoi. Unable to marry the boss daughter, he returned home and opened his own restaurant specializing in burnt rice. His success led to the collaborations with his own boss and the birth of the famous Ninh Bình burnt rice dish. From the selection of rice to the way of processing, all are meticulous and elaborate steps. Over time, Vietnamese people have distilled their own secrets to make the burnt rice more and more delicious. Thank you for watching my video. See you all in the next video. Let's explore Saigon together.